Okay friends, I hope you were able to uh, watch that letter C video. So we're going to do a little cloud activity with find the letter C. So if you can look at these clouds, we've got some letter clouds floating in the sky. Can you find the ones with the letter C? Can you point to them? See if you can find the letter C. Maybe you need a, you might need an adult's help or a family member's help, but see if you can find the C's and point to them. There are, there are seven C's to find. Can you find all seven? All right, I'm gonna give you a couple more seconds. All right, three, two, one. Okay, so I'm going to show you which ones are the letter C. So we have lots of different letters on here. And let's see, whichever clouds spin are the ones with the letter C. Ready? There's a C. Let's find the next one. There's another one that's a lowercase c. There's an uppercase c. There's a lowercase c. Let's find another c. There's one in the middle. There's another one. And there should be one more c. There it is. I hope you were able to find all the letter c's. So we are going to move on to our story. So another type of weather is wind. And wind is when the air moves and sometimes it moves very fast and sometimes it moves barely at all. So can you show me what wind looks like? Let me say shake, go be the wind, be the wind. Can you blow like the wind? <sighs> awesome, great job being the wind for me. So does anybody know what, ha what can happen when it's really, really windy? Hmm, what could happen if it was really, really windy? It was just really, really windy the other day. What might happen? Hmm, well, I have a story for you, and it's called The Wind Blew. And it is about a very, very windy day, and we're gonna find out what happens when the wind blows very hard. So The Wind Blew is the title, and the author is Pat Hutchins wrote the story. All right. So let's see. What did the wind blow? The wind blew. Look at that man. He's trying to walk and his jacket is blowing. And the tree is blowing. It took the umbrella from Mr. White and quickly turned it inside out. Oh no, it blew his umbrella. It snatched the balloon from little Priscilla and swept it up to join the umbrella. So you can see that the balloon and the umbrella are both blowing away. And not content, it took a hat and still not satisfied with that. So it took the umbrella and the balloon and the hat. It whipped a kite into the air and kept it spinning round up there. So now it has the umbrella, the balloon, the hat, and the kite. The wind is blowing lots of things. It grabbed a shirt left out to dry and tossed it upward in the sky. It plucked a hanky from a nose, which is a handkerchief, which is like a piece of fabric, a piece of cloth. And up and up and up it rose. It lifted the wig from the judge's head. Oh no, and it didn't drop it back. Instead, it whirled the postman's letters up as if it hadn't done enough. Oh no, look at all the mail going up into the sky, getting blown away. It blew so hard, it quickly stole a striped flag fluttering on a pole. Took the flag right off the pole. I'm trying to turn these pages. 
it pulled the new scarves from the twins and tossed them to the other things. It sent the newspapers fluttering round, then tired of the things it found. What happens when the wind stops blowing? It mixed them up and threw them down. Oh my goodness, so it mixed them all up and everybody got the wrong thing. And blew away to sea. There went the wind out with the sea after it dropped all the things. Wow, so what happens on a very, very windy day? It can blow all the things away, can it? Wow, and what happens when the wind stops? Everything drops. Oh my goodness. So we have a um, little wind activity we're going to do. So if you could join me with that, we're going to do an experiment.